Hello everyone, Tech Balance here with another video and today we are looking at how to change the access control list in an external drive simply because sometimes you might plug in your external drive maybe a hard disk, maybe a flash drive and when you try opening it, it tells you that you do not have permissions to access this drive and it may be that you have been accessing this drive over time and just a simple switch to another computer with different control list when you bring it back to your, you know, your native machine it no longer functions. It tells you that you do not have permissions or simply shows up as an NTFS or a FAT32 drive and beyond that you cannot access it. So most people will always end just formatting but formatting your drive means data loss. So how can you prevent this by changing the control list? We are going to be using two techniques. The first technique is simply to go into the security tab in the properties tab of your specific drive and changing the permissions. Now changing permissions essentially means that you need to authenticate yourself as a user within this drive and uh, depending on how you set it up, you might set it up that only administrators within the respective machines can access it or all authenticated users. By authenticated users we mean that a guest account cannot access it unless now you bring in permissions for the same. And uh, so the first stage, I'm just going to head over to my drive click the properties right click go to the properties field now in the properties field let's go back to the drive so this is how all your drives show up based on the usage you know and how much free space is available but going over to the security tab you see you have authenticated users and you have given them full control so the first thing i'm going to quickly do is i'm going just to remove authenticated users and i'm going to apply that just to show you exactly what we are talking about by having no access to an external drive so once this security tab completes applying all this information to all the files within that drive we are going now to resume the same so let's just give it a few minutes maximum of maybe two minutes for it to complete that, that's it so if we head over back to our directory you realize that this error comes up so i've necessarily created this error but in your case it might not be the same but if you ever find yourself in a scenario where the drive is denied access and it's not accessible this essentially means that this is not a hardware problem this is more into the permissions and that is what we're trying to solve in this video so heading over back to our securities tab properties head over to security click on edit now we can no longer see authenticated users so the first thing you need is to do is to add a new user and uh, what i've simply done is i have gone to the add go to advanced and this pops up i'm gonna click on the find now and it's going to find all possible users that can be authenticated or that can be set up so you can set it up for very specific users like conan you know uh, guest account but in this scenario I'm just going into authenticated users so that I can access it in all other machines where I have an authenticated user account when you find the user account you are looking for with administrator guest a general account like what I'm going for the authenticated users select it click OK and it loads so the next thing click OK now you realize it has popped up here so the first thing I want to do is I want to give it full control. Now, full control, you can hit OK or apply, whichever you prefer. I am just going to take OK because it's shorter steps. Now, once in a while, you might have an issue changing security information on info files or certain files depending on how they were created or depending on the file format but most of the time these are files that are based on the system volume information and these are files that you do not necessarily require access to so what the security windows tab is doing now is it's applying all those changes to the file all the folders within that same system and it's saving them so once that is complete you realize when you select the user you've added and the permissions you've set set they are all applied click ok and that's it so the next thing we need to do is to use the command prompt window to reset any additional permissions that might have been overlooked. So before we do that, I'm going to head over 
to my Windows tab and you notice that now it's possible again to access the external drive so what I'm going to do this just a measure to make sure that this does not happen in the future I'm just going to reset any additional permissions that I have not directly accessed so you can always right click on your Windows button go to command prompt if you have replaced command prompt to the PowerShell you can hit Windows plus R and this run tab comes in type in CMD OK so once you have that you, you can copy this I'm going to leave it in the description segment paste that in I'm just going to zoom in a little for you to see and uh, paste that in make sure to change to the drive you know the drive ID so in this scenario it's E I'm just going to delete that put in F and hit enter so what this does is it will run through the individual files and it will make sure that all permissions have been set you see it's processing the individual folders it will now navigate into individual folders and all the subdirectories within that folder setting all these permissions and resetting anything that might have been overlooked and once it's complete you will notice that it tells you how many have successfully been changed how many have failed so whatever have failed most likely it's a system file that you don't have permissions to access and that's it now you can safely navigate into your you know your external drive you don't need to format it you don't need to lose your information if you like the video make sure to hit the subscribe button like and share catch you on the next one thank you